In this math counts preparation lesson, we're going to be exploring recursion. Now, recursion is basically a strategy where you start with the smallest case and work your way up. And it usually works in problems like this. Here we have Marie likes to jump up steps. She can jump up one step at a time, two steps at a time, or a combination of both. How many different ways can she jump up a step, a set of five steps? So, first we're going to draw out the staircase, or the steps. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, zero, one, two, three. Need one more. There we go. These are our five steps. That's the zeroth step, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. On and on and on. There we go. Now, how many different ways can she jump up a set of five steps? Now, we're going to start off with the smallest case. How many ways can she get? How many ways are there to get to the zeroth step? And when we're doing recursion, we denote this with an F. So in this case, it's F. F zero. How many ways can we get to the, the zeroth step? Well, there's only one way. We're already at the zeroth step, so there's one way to do that. Then get to the first step, which is denoted by F F one. And I should just write this as because usually in recursion we write it like this. Okay. And the, to get to the first step, there's only one way. We start the zeroth step and we just go one up. So there's only one way to do that. Now, the second step is where things get a little bit more interesting. Now here, she can jump up. She can take a two step. She can go from here and she can jump to two. Or she can go the classic way of here and then here. Or she can go here. So there, essentially, to go to F2, there you can go one, one, or just take a big two step. So there's two ways to get to the second step. Now, often recursion problems want to build a formula. Here we notice that 2 is the sum of f0 and f1. We're going to see if that pattern holds for f3. I'm just going to list out the cases for f3 because that isn't hard to do. And I get to the third step. Third step's right, out of right over here. We want to get to this step from the zeroth step. First, we can just go 1, 1, 1. We can just take that. That's one case. We could take 2 and 1, and then 1 and 2. Now, if I have a 2, I need to pair it with a 1. If I have a 1, I, need to pair, I, I can pair it with two ones or a 2. We've paired the 1 with a 2, and we paired the 1 with two ones. So, well, we have. We have three ways to get to the third step. We've listed them all out. F3 is the sum of the previous two. So this pattern is holding. Okay, so, and this pattern is holding. We can build a formula. Now, notice how f2 is the sum of f1 plus f0. f3 is the sum of f2 and f1. That means when we're on the fourth step, f4, that's just the sum of f3 and f2. f3 plus f2 is 2 plus 3, which is 5. And we're looking for the fifth step, which is just f5. Now, f5, we have formulas. f4 has to be f4 plus f3 because that's what the pattern holds. Because f3 is f2 plus f1. f2 is f1 plus f0. Now, f5 has to be f4 plus f3, which is 3 plus 5, which is 8. And that's our answer. This is how really a recursion works. We start... Small, we work our way up and we find a formula to make the problem faster.